Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Give God praise in here, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God is with us. Good morning. He is with us. It's Sunday morning. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Periscope invites your followers. Facebook Live invites your followers. This is a good one. This is uh, the truth about Halloween. Some information that you didn't know. Are we going to really deal with Halloween? We some testimonies in here. We got a lot of stuff in here today. Are we going to deal with it? How come y'all in all of my days of church from a little boy on up to now, I never heard the pastor in any church I was in ever year in and year out ever preach on Halloween? I, I see head shaking. Yes, that's true. How come they never touch Halloween? It's a shame that they don't because they should. Maybe this is why so many churches are now uh, got their form of Halloween. They have their form of trick or treat. You got me? But anyway, tomorrow's Halloween. Okay? And so I wanted. To just teach on Halloween because I'm gonna be honest with you. To me, Halloween is dangerous. It's very dangerous. And huh? Yeah, it's very crafty. It's very, it's it's it's, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't have my ex. I wrote down something just from the news last night to give me an idea how big Halloween is. Um. Halloween, and I believe they say that that um, Halloween is going to to make 8.3 billion dollars of Halloween. That's a lot of money, y'all. 8.3 billion off of Halloween. Now they're going to make at least out of 8 billion. I think I think it's like the most of it is like. Uh, uh, three billion of it is just for the masks and the costumes. Three billion dollars on dressed up look like monsters. Three billion dollars is dressed up and look like witches and warlocks and ghosts and goblins to look like um, um, an axe murderer. And the one that we always know they like to do. The one where they can look like Satan himself, of what you know the the pitchfork Satan, the tail and the red um, Satan with the um, with the what the point is Hollywood's view Hollywood's view of uh, of uh, hold on let me see. It. Oh God. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Can you get this on Periscope Pray? You used to eat this all the time. Well, the name of you that break that curse off you now. Y'all look at this thing here. Hold on. I'll show you first. This gotta be potted meat. Have y'all eaten potted meat with a devil on it? Huh? Yeah, I know the parents had to go, they didn't know any better. They weren't taught anything. Here it is, a big devil on your food. You can open the can up and... Chicken your fingers. <laughs> oh, look at that. And this kind of costume they want to put on for Halloween. Y'all see it? That's a little red devil in this little red costume on the food. Let me say this to you right now. Any manufacturer that put a full devil with a pitchfork, claw fingers, pitchfork tail look like, and put a devil on the food, take my word for it, they are in some type of an occult. They belong to some type of a witch coven. Say it again. Yeah. They do. They are working. They are doing something. 
When they put this on here, believe me, it's not just up there just to be up there. It's up there because that's what they are supporting. This is what they believe in. Dirt devil. If you if you vacuum your house with a dirt devil, break it up with a hammer and get it out your house. Because you ain't cleaning it up, you're messing it up. <laughs> dirt devil in your house. Preachers up here. I got evangelists in here. He said, yeah, I got a dirt devil in my house. Preacher, please. Let me tell you something right now. You got anything with satanic on it, it's going to attract the satanic. Spirits are real. I'm cleaning my fourth floor with a dirt devil. Dirt devil. All over my car, dirt devil. Subtle, harmless. Halloween, subtle, harmless. Oh, it's a holiday. We have some fun. Y'all, I got news for you today. Then, the 2.3 billion, the other billion, guess what, y'all? On the candy. 2.3 billion dollars on some almond joys and some Reese's Cups because of Halloween. Boy, them, boy those candy people are going to push Halloween big time. Do you hear me? And then the last of the money of that eight billion go to you decorating your home. You know what? I suppose it shows you these pictures. Oh, I still may pull those pictures out because cause no, no, I don't have a briefcase with me. But I wish I did have the pictures to show you something. Because there's something that's dear to me. The decorating your home with goose, with goblins and ghosts. Now, let's get down to it. Let me give you some real truth about Halloween. Say it again. Yeah. So as I sow, so, 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 so on that altar. Just so. God bless you real good. Now. Let's start off with this. First of all, y'all know how I used to spell Halloween. Do you know I didn't learn the true spell of Halloween until last year? Didn't y'all last year? I can't bless you. I came here to preach on Halloween, and I didn't know how to spell. I spell Halloween differently until I found out the real spell, and I don't like it. I spell Halloween, bless you, H-O-L-L-O, W-E-E-N, hollow, H-O, what I say I spell it, H-O-L-L-O, that's how I spell Halloween all my life. I'm sure I've seen it a thousand times, but I probably I'm just blind to it. I spelled it like that. Then last year, when I started doing my research, I found out something. Lord's Prayer, y'all. Here's the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Huh? Hallowed be what? Thy name. Thy name. Well, I know how to spell hallowed be thy name. But I didn't realize that Halloween is Halloween. What? How do you spell Halloween? H a L L O W E E N. Hallowed be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hallowed be his name means sanctified. Well, I'm going to teach y'all something here today. Hallowed be thy name means set apart, sanctified, holy. Am I right? Godly. Spiritual, the church, how 
Hallowed be thy name. The highest name. Am I right? Oh, well, hold on. Okay. Now, let's look at this. The Celts, whoever they are. The Celts. They started Halloween. Okay. The race called the Celts, a nation called the Celts, started Halloween. Uh-oh. Hold up here. They started Halloween. Now, the Celts, K-E-L-K-S, started thousands of years ago. Did you hear me? Thousands of years ago, the Celts started Halloween. Now, get this. It went through a few changes. But let me ask you something. Ancient traditions of thousands of years ago, how did something, some little holiday that they decided to have, how did it last until our modern era? How is it still here? How did this ancient Celt tradition reach us? Father, help me, Father, I need you. K-E-L-K-S, the Celts. How did it reach us, Ken? How did it get here? Thousands of years ago, some pagan society started doing some, oh, I'm going to get their reasons. And it's still here in modern era. What? Hold on. But guess what? Are you ready? Aren't we the Western culture? Yes. Guess what? Because the Western culture decided to preserve it. And what part of the Western culture decided to preserve Halloween? The church. Ooh, what? The church. The church decided to keep it. The church got their hands on it. I'm going to show you how they got their hands on it. This thing would have died out thousands of years ago if it hadn't been for the church. They wouldn't even be celebrating Halloween if it hadn't been for the church. Do you hear me? The church. The, ch the church celebrating ghostly, gold, ghostly, ghoul, whatever name they want to call it, ghosts and goblins and such and such. Now get this now. We copied this pagan folk way the church did instead of doing what to it? Stamping it out. Church should have stamped it out. But instead of stamping it out, we're doing like we do today. Copying the world. There's one thing about churches. We're good for not stamping something out that's not of God and bringing it into the church house. I'm not going into it, but you know some stuff we can bond to the church house. Amen. I'm on Halloween right now. But they didn't stamp it out. Now, let's go to the beginning. And oh, guess why they didn't stamp it out? Because they wanted to convert pagans. Let me tell you something right now. You can't use the world stuff to convert them. That's right. That's right. We always. Angelina, we're always trying to use the world stuff to get the world into the church. No, he said, but if I, if I should be lifted up, if I should be lifted up, he ain't said bring the comedians into the church. That's right. He ain't said do trunk or treat. That's right. Oh, harvest night. He said, but I, if I be, mean, uh-uh, stop trying to compromise to get them in here. Amen. Into the church. Uh, 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 uh. I hear those pastors, church, are we having a church, but church not like what you're used to because we're going to do what the world do. Some churches look like theaters now. Have you seen them? Yeah. Oh, I've been to a couple churches, and I, and I thought I was at the Warner Theater. I couldn't even tell it was a church and it was a church and they got it hooked up like a studio 
So, so, look, 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 look. So, so, here it is. Now, let's start with this first one. The chief pagan festival. The chief one was called Lemuria. Lemuria. I've heard that. Anybody heard that? No, it's not a cigarette. <laughs> L-E-M-U-R-I-A. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready for Lemuria? Are you ready? Here it is. Here I pay to do. Came on May 13th. Every year. We're going to celebrate the dead. Mm. May 13th, we're going to celebrate the dead. Why are you celebrating the dead? I'm going to come up to the modern day. But that's going to celebrate the day. So they made it from May 13th. Now, I'm showing you the beginning of Halloween. I'm showing, see, look, a lot of people do things, but they don't know the spiritual origin of it. That's right. That's right. A lot of people don't know the spiritual origin of the peace sign, but they still use it and wear it. And they don't know that it's an upside down crooked cross came from Nero, a man who was crazy and killed Christians on him. See, but they don't know that. They don't know the spiritual origin of different things that they like to put on and wear in their bodies. So they start out with Lemuria. And it was back in May. And we're just going to celebrate our dead people. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're celebrating the dead, then you're going to have some serious problems. You're celebrating the dead. You're going to invite some serious spirits from hell to accompany the dead to you. Because God's not going to accompany the dead to visit you. He said that you'll raise up when my son raised you up to walk the earth again. So hold on now. May 13th, celebrating the dead. Now guess what history said? That actually demonic spirits, they call them ghosts, will come and visit those people as they celebrate the dead. I believe that. I believe they had some visitations. I believe they had some serious visit. I got a funny feeling that there are some families still cursed today because of Lemuria. A thousand years ago. Remember, generational curses are real. And they celebrate this and, it's, and they got bloodlines still left in the earth. They're still feeling the effects from their ancestors from celebrating dead people. Halloween, y'all. Now, now get this. Let me show you how close we are today. Are you ready? Let me give you what they did celebrating the dead a thousand years ago. And then I'm gonna bring you up to uh to Friday. What's what's the day? Sunday? Yeah. I'm gonna bring you up to this past Friday. The people will go to the gravesite and pour milk on the grave. Leave cookies on the grave. Yes, yes. Cookies for them to eat, y'all. Right. Y'all better hear me. This is true. Oh, I ain't finished. Oh, you gonna say what again in a second? She said what? Now I'm telling you that what I did hundreds of years ago. But I'm gonna tell you something now. They poured milk on the grave and left little cakes. Are you ready for this? You better hear this. There are different nations that have pagan nationwide pagan activities like this mm -hmm. and they wonder why they have uh, uh, floods and earthquakes they're wondering why they're having uh, um, things to hit them what they can say a thousand year rain mm -hmm. where where they got volcanoes erupting on them and all kinds of stuff right mm -hmm. two days ago what I just gave you an example of oh Guess what? Two days ago, Mexico celebrated the dead. Mexico had a great big national day of celebrating their dead relatives. Guess what they did? They put on skull masks. Guess what number one place the drugs are coming out of now? Mexico. What? 
Mexico. Guess where the drug cartel who are doing a lot of murdering and murdering and mass murdering, guess where it's coming out of now? Mexico. So Mexico celebrated the day and they walked, they marched to the grave. I saw this myself. They marched to the grave and they did the same thing that they did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They put food on the grave for them to eat. They put drinks on the grave for them to drink. Do you understand me? They put stuff on the dead for them to rise up out of the grave. Do you hear me? All this is Halloween. Halloween is attached to celebrating the dead. Halloween is attached to feeding dead people through the grave. And then you wonder why you got some dead relative in your bedroom talking to you. <laughs> Give me a little air, please. It's getting a little hot now. And that dead relative that's talking to you is not even your relative. But it's a demon from the pit of hell that's right. That masquerading himself as your loved one so he can give you some information that'll mess up your life. That's right. Or put you in a snap or a snare. That's right. Or have you believing in ghosts? Have you believing in the dead? Why do some of the people go to mediums? Yes. Talk to the dead. Uh-huh. All of this, God said, is an abomination. Right. Halloween, y'all. Halloween. So, Mexico celebrated the dead. They got all the little children dancing around the graves. Marching to the graveyard. Everybody holding up skeletons on poles. Holding up skeletons on poles. They have no idea what they're doing. What are they doing? They are inviting demons and devils to be in the midst of us. They're inviting demons and devils to talk to us. Suck with us. Deal with us. Do you understand me? Yes. You cannot partake in something like this and something don't show up. Spirits are real. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Angels are real. And demons are real. And they know how to visit you. Now, now, so on May 13th, we'll celebrate the dead. Ghosts will come up. They pour milk on there, the pagan Romans. But well, hold on now, you ready? Here's the church now, y'all. Ready for the church. Woo, thank you, man. Say 1609. That's when the church stepped in. It's a long time, man. 1609. The church stepped in and said, oh, we want a piece of this pagan ritual holiday. The church stepped in in 1609 and said, now we're going to step in. And let's see what the church did. They stepped in, right? And guess what they did? Uh Uh-oh, oh, this is ugly. And this is still celebrated today. This is ugly. Oh, this is ugly. Church stepped in. I'm told you that May 13th was their date, right? Right. The church stepped in, kept the same date, and turned it into another name. All Saints Day. Yeah. Yeah. All Saints Day. Yeah. Uh oh, what? Now it's gone from Lemuria. Now it's gone to All Saints Day. For May 13th. And guess what that was? The church said, this is a day to celebrate the holiest of dead people. The holiest of dead people, the sanctified dead. Saints. We're going to, the pagans that celebrate all dead. We're not going to be like them. We're going to take this though. But we're going to celebrate the, the church day. True, y'all. I 
I wish I had learned this back in day. If my mom and dad had heard this back in day, we wouldn't have never been trick or treat. <laughs> my mom and dad would have known better. But they didn't know the better sitting up in that nice church they were sitting in, in North Carolina. So here it is now, All Saints Day. Gonna honor the holiest of dead Christians. The church is trying to Christianize this pagan tradition. You can't mix a uh, bit of water with sweet and expect to get what? Sweet? Come on. Right. It ain't gonna work. You can put perfume on doo doo all you want. <laughs> I bet it's still gonna smell like some perfume doo doo. <laughs> uh, do you hear me? It's still gonna stink, ain't it? <laughs> Thank you for that one, Jesus. You got some new. I thank you for that one. Let's go. So here it is. They go go put the church spin on it. Woo! But guess what? They said they put the church spin on it, but they kept some of the same ingredients. Uh uh. They kept some of the same old stuff though. We gonna change it to the church way, but we gonna uh uh. Now get this, are you ready? They moved All Saints Day. Now guess what All Saints Day was first? All Hallows Day. Are you kidding me? All Hallows Day. What? All Hallows Day. They also tried calling it, look, hold on now. Get this. They, they said that we don't want May 13th anymore. Since we taking it over, we're gonna get a new date. So they changed All Saints Day, All Hallows Day to November 1st. Well, Halloween been moving around a lot, hasn't it? Yes. November 1st, we're gonna celebrate the date. November 1st, we're gonna do our own little thing on November 1st. Do you hear me? Oh God, thank you, man. Thank you for that one. I'm going to use that one. So look now. They, they wanted to drain the life out of the May 13th one. But guess what they did to it? They gave it what? More life. They called, they brought it into the church. Now get this now. <coughs> There's something called Sam Hain. S-A-M-H-A-I-N. Sam Hain was already on October 31st. So you got a lot of little different ones now. You got Sam Hain was already on October 31st. You had Lumira on what? On May what? 13th. Now you got the all sites that they want to do it on what? November 1st. That was working. You got all these groups he's bringing in, they're working. Now, Sam Hain did this. That Sam Hain, here's how we got to Halloween, y'all. Here's how we got to where we are. Sam Hain fell on October 31st, the day before Hallow's Day. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on, I want you to get this. Uh, look, look. Follow me. We're going to celebrate dead Christians on November what? First. But there's another one celebrating. Dead people on October 31st. Sam Hain. Sam Hain had the 31st first. But we're on November 1st. Hold on now. But the church, church does still, the church still being comprom still compromising, still being influenced. The pagans started calling the October 31 All Hallows Evening. The evening before All Hallows Day. Uh -oh. All Hallows Day, November 1st. All Hallows Evening, they start calling that on October 31st. Hallow. Hallow be what? That name, you hear me? All Hallows Evening. And guess what, y'all? They found it to All Hallows Evening and changed it to what? Hallow Week. 
Ooh. And guess what the church did? Just to be safe. The church went one step further than that. Church found a new festival. Not just for saints, but for everyday Christians. Did y'all know that after that this week? Did y'all know that this week? When you have your little Halloween tomorrow, did y'all know that on November the 2nd is All Souls Day? Y'all don't know nothing about that. This is what I'm saying now. I said, November the 2nd is All Souls Day. What does that mean in the church? What does it mean that All Saints Day is when they're celebrating holy folk? All Souls Day means they're celebrating all y'all death. All dead people. Y'all hear me? We got all these days y'all don't know nothing about where people all over the world are celebrating dead people. And their church, their church, they're at the cross where they first saw the light. <laughs> Do you hear me? This is the church. That's why I told you earlier, this message is for the church about Halloween. Because the church is in unaware. Paul said, I would not have you in unaware. I don't want you to be in unaware of the devil tricks. Halloween has been the trick of the devil for hundreds of years. And here we are. Here we are. Look at all those names that we've been through. Now here it is, Halloween. So hold on, November 2nd, All Souls Day. It's a church sanctioned holiday to honor the departed. I wish I would go to a grave, go to my mama and my dad and my brother's grave and, and take some Oreo cookies. <laughs> I gotta have milk. I gotta have milk. Oh, let me have them. Thanks. He said, I got some Oreo cookies from last Halloween back here in all the. Oh, let me see them. Oh, let me see those Halloween cookies. Sure. Look. They're over there. So. I'm going to drop some cookies like down and expect mom and daddy to eat. <laughs> Do you hear me, y'all? To have some. I can say, uh, hold on, but remember now, all of us on the same day doing it. Jeez. Halloween. To that H A L L Y. I just learned how to spell it. <laughs> Oreo. Oreo with a skull on it. With a skull on O. With a skeleton on it for Halloween. I'm see, listen to me, y'all. The thrill of trick and treats, and there's a ghost on the cookies too. Uh, let me tell y'all something about Oreo cookies. I know, Oreo, you don't even get that. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. With Oreo cookies on Halloween, I'm gonna tell you this right now. We gonna have Oreo cookies in my house all the time. My kids love Oreo cookies. I like them too. And every every brand of Oreo I bought into my house, the green ones, the yellow ones, the orange ones, the pink ones, the birthday ones with the spots on them. I done bought them all in, y'all. Yeah, they got the little red, white, and blue spots on them and stuff. Saying it tastes like a birthday cake. So I'm going to have some Oreo cookies. But I'm not going to buy Halloween cookies with ghosts and goblins on it with bats on it and with a skeleton on it, knowing that skeleton represents death. Skull represents the spirit of death. Why do you think where they crucified my Jesus, it was called the hill of the skull? Yeah, yeah. Hill of the skull. That's where Jesus was crucified. Go God. Hill of the skull. 
kill us. Oh, hold on. They're going to crucify my, kill all those innocent Jews on a hill called Skull, and I'm going to tattoo a skull to my back. I expect nothing to happen. I'm going to go out and get me some skull belts, skull neckties, and wear them around, and nothing's going to happen to me. Huh? I'm going to give me a skull watch. No! What you are doing is, you are now agreeing with the spirit of death, and the spirit of death is going to show up somewhere in your life. You don't have to die for something in your life that means something. You will die. Your money might die. Your relationships might die. Your career might die. If Vicky out of your house, the house will die. Repossess your car. Car die. You understand me? Nothing to play with. And this is the church. Well, hold on. Share how this thing has evolved. Let me show you something. Now, show you how Halloween, how trick or treat evolved. Evolved. How they start getting the trick or treat involved with the Halloween, with the hollow, with the hollow. Hold on. I showed you this before. Please take a picture of this. Demon treats. <laughs> Demon treats. Praise get the demon treat. Get it on Periscope. Got it? Get it on Facebook Live. Look at it. Demon treats. If I'm going to eat a treat from a demon, <laughs> is anyone in here sp that spiritually ignorant? Because they're selling these. They're selling $2.5 billion of this. For Halloween. Demon treats. I like Reese's Cups, and I'm not going to stop eating one. I like Kit Kat every now and then. But I'm not going to buy a bag of my favorite chocolate. And they decided for Halloween, they are now demon treats. You don't bring this into your house to feed your children. You don't take this to the daycare center and share it with all the kids. Right. <laughs> Man, y'all learning something here. I told you that I'm going to bust Halloween out. I'm going to bust it out. Because I said this is for the church. I didn't say it's for the people out there, did it? It's for the church. Because we, are, we have become very ignorant about the origin, the spiritual origin of this holiday. Demon treats. If I serve demon treats in my house, I shouldn't be surprised when a demon showed up in my bedroom at about 3 a.m. in the morning. That's right. A shadowy, shadowy strong man show up. He said, Well, you did uh, enjoy my uh, demon treats. It's like you asked me to come on in and visit. So, no, not going to work. Now, get this down. Oh God, good, good. See how, hold on y'all. Van Hall just bought this song. Oh, what is this, an uh, invitation or something? Oh, makeup. Oh, it's a makeup. Oh, hold up, hold, hold up. I was gonna bring on somebody makeup, makeup. Might as well do it now. Y'all ladies use Max? What do you call it, Max? I call it Max. I mean, Y'all ladies use Max. Y'all huh? ladies use Max? A lot of ladies use Max. What's that? It's expensive. A lot of y'all, every mall got Mac in it. Some of them, man, boy, man, as soon as you walk near the women cosmetic, Mac is all Mac is big. They got all those girls in there ready to put it all on you. But guess what? Well, yesterday, a young lady went in Mac. And they had this new thing for you ladies called, uh, said that it's a natural lipstick. I know y'all like lipstick. <laughs> it's a natural lipstick. So she said she tried it on and she liked it. She said, oh, this is nice. I'm going to buy this. <laughs> this is nice. She said, honey, what's the name of this lipstick? 
She said, magic spell. She said, lady, get this stuff off my lips. Get this stuff off my lips. Hurry up and wipe this stuff off my lips. Halloween made them name that lipstick magic spell. Do you know that if you wear some lipstick lady with magic spell on, you're going to be kissing some demons after a while? Matter of fact, your lips going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Your lips going to go wild. All of a sudden, all of a sudden your lips going to be out of control. What's wrong with you, huh? You know what? Magic spell on your lips to look pretty in. It's crazy. Magic spell lipstick. How many are going in there? Ooh, hold on now. Uh oh. oh we gotta do something right this second. In the supernatural. Say supernatural. Supernatural. How many women or young girls in unawares? Because it's Halloween, bought the lipstick. Mm, yeah. Wearing it today. Mm -hmm. Wore it last night at the party. Mm -hmm. And go wear it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I ask the Lord right now, send angels to speak to them and wipe all that lipstick off them. And let them never use it again in Jesus' name. Amen. We bind up the selling of magic spell lipstick to women right now. I speak death to that lipstick. I speak death to the sales that will go out of business. That lipstick will go out of business. They will take it off the market. In whose name? Jesus. This is what we have to do. Now look at this. Here's the lipstick. And like it was mailed to you, but here's the lipstick called Black Magic. It's all makeup in there. All brand new makeup in that kit. Beauty spell. Oh, hold on. It's called Beauty Spells. So they're going to give you a lot of beauty spells. Get it on there for me. I want them to see this. I want them to get that on Facebook Live. See it? Beauty spell. Okay, let me get it on there for me, Fred. Beauty spells. Did you hear what I just said? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to read you what it said on the back. You ready? Hey, boo. B-O-O. -O, with a ghost. Hey, boo. We got some tricks and treats up our sleeve. Three ways to get in on the magic app. Check out the full story behind Black Magic and our awesome collab with a girl artist, Val Fred. Mix up magical potions and master your supernatural look with how the videos and tips for all of your products. Don't ghost us. Don't ghost us. Reveal your glam bag goodness so we can give you more of what you love. Mm -hmm. yeah. October Glam Bag, hashtag. It's the Black Magic, hashtag. Mm -hmm. And then they give you this with it in there. With witches on brooms, <coughs> magic potions, witches hat. Oh, there's some lipstick. I bet that's the Black Magic spell lipstick. Black cat, teeth, teeth like a, a, a demon. Some type of butterfly devil, all kinds of stuff, crystal ball. All this is for Halloween. So hold on. Uh oh, something just came to me. Something just came to me right now. Something just came to me right this second. God just spoke this to me that quick. He said, once a year, Halloween is being used by Satan. To release his satanic power. Yeah, right. To release his satanic yeah. forces. Yeah. His satanic, his satanic weapons. Mm -hmm. During this time, we're talking about, about satanic stuff more than godly stuff. Mm -hmm. For one day, it's all about satanic stuff. Mm -hmm. For a whole day around this world. We are representing hell when we partake. The Lord said, 
When you partake in this, when you agree with this, when you let this in your house, you are now partaking in its evil deeds. I don't want my daughter to the treaters. I cut off the front porch lights so they'll know. Don't knock, don't ring because I'm not answering. And I got to plead the blood on my street. That plead the blood on the whole neighborhood. Because these little kids don't know what they're doing. Hold up now. Now, now get this. 